Hello friends, this LoRa can help you to create amazing logo design. Okay, you can see. I will place the link in the video description and you can go to the Civit AI and download the LoRa model. And here you can see some amazing logos that all of them are generated with this LoRa model. Uh, at first, please read the description and here you can see that there is a tag for this LoRa. Okay, for example, you should exactly use this word in your prompt to activate the LoRa. It's very important. Okay, now how you can load the LoRa and use this LoRa in Comfy UI. At first, you should download the LoRa. Okay, after downloading the LoRa, you should go to the Comfy UI page. Okay, this is the Comfy UI folder. Go to the Comfy UI, go to the models, and after that, click on LoRa's. Okay, maybe your folder will be empty like this, and you should place the LoRa that you have downloaded in this folder. Okay, so this part is very important and after that open your comfy ui when you are opening your comfy ui the comfy ui this is the default workflow in the comfy ui and you should create your own workflow if you don't know how to install the comfy ui please go to my youtube page and check this video okay it's a complete beginner completely beginner video and you can learn how to install the Comfy UI and many necessary extensions in about 30 minutes and it's very useful. Okay, so if you open the Comfy UI for loading or creating get the workflow, you have two different ways. Let me show you. <coughs> for example, the first way is loading a ready workflow file in the Comfy UI. For example, you can drag a PNG file in the Comfy UI and after that it will load all the workflow. Because all the images that you are generating with Comfy UI as the PNG format, also they saved your workflow in the PNG file. And when you are dragging the workflow, you can uh, the PNG files, then you can see the workflow okay this is my workflow and at first i want to test some of the prompts from cvt ai in this workflow and then you can see how it can work uh, for example you can click on this image and on the right side you can see the prompt when you are working in comfy ui you it is not necessary to copy this prompt laura for example, this exactly this highlighted. Okay, because in Comfy UI you cannot you can't load the LoRa with prompt. Okay, so only you have to copy the prompt, this part of the prompt, and paste on the positive. Copy the negative prompt, and paste in negative. Okay. And here you can find some other information. For example, they told us that they use DPM++ SDE, and, but there is not any information about the scheduler, only they define the sampler, and they give us the seed number. But uh, at this moment, we are going only with positive and negative prompt. Once that you paste the positive and negative, then you can queue prompt, okay? Because this is a ready workflow. And in this ready workflow, already I have loaded the LoRa and other things. I will explain all of this step by step, okay? But I want to show you that how this LoRa is powerful. Okay, for example, you can see the image and really it's very, similar to the image that is generated here. This workflow has two steps. In the first step, it's trying to generate an image in 
1024 in 1024 after that the image is uh, going to another sampler and it is going to process for creating image in 2048 with 2048 uh, okay so what is this fork follow and how it is working i am i am working with efficient loader and k sampler efficient for this workflow and also here there is an upscaler model workflow model that i that i used and again i have efficiency loader and sampler to upscale my image okay the image is ready and let me open that in new image in new tab you can see the quality and i think it's very good and interesting okay now let's create all this workflow exactly a step by a step and i can explain some important parameters to you uh, at first right click at first make sure that you have installed the efficiency node on your computer and again if you check this video you can figure out that how to install the efficiency node so once you click on the add node you can go to efficiency node sampling and select case sampler efficient also again you should go here efficiency node loader and click on efficiency loader on efficiency loader you can load your stable diffusion model for the base for the first pass we should work with stxl base we don't need any vae for this model and for and for the lora we need logo redmond okay and here you can see that we have positive and negative and we should write them here okay but i don't like that and i'm right click on the node and click on convert positive to input and after that convert negative to input okay so now we don't have the text box and instead we have these two input right click go to utils and create primitive node make a copy the first should connect the first one to the positive and connect the second one to the negative to make it easy for yourself change the color the positive to green and the negative to red okay so you have these two nodes okay they are coming into the loader and in the efficiency loader we should add just the resolution 1024 in 1024 here is the sampler connect the model to model positive negative latent vae okay and from here you can select your sampler for example the dpm plus plus p sde and the scheduler for example this time we can test the cars these steps are 20 cfg is 7 and every other thing is normal and let me add a save image node for the upper part i'm going to select all these nodes and click on Control m okay so you can see all of them are mute now we need positive and negative prompt go here for example select another one okay copy the positive based on positive copy negative based on negative and everything is ready press the Q so once you press the Q it's starting to load the checkpoint and LoRa and after that the sampler should be start the processing right now exactly and after some seconds 
I think you can see the preview. Yes, exactly. Like this. So you can see it's going to generate something like this, but exactly, not exactly same as this image, but very similar stuff. Uh, style because the seed number is different okay uh, and now I want to make a upper scale model okay also this part is very handy and important uh, copy the efficiency and sampler press ctrl C and press ctrl shift V so the connections are saved okay you can see the positive still is connected to the positive and the negative is still connected to the negative just disconnect the latent image and from here i can add a save image node this is the upper scale model okay and for the upper scale model we should decrease the denoise amount for example to something like 24 0 0.24 and we have to upscale the output image and send the image to the next sampler okay how we can do that double click on the page and write upscale select upscale model loader okay for example here you can select a upscale model loader if you can't see anything here okay you go to the manager go to the install models okay and here for example you can see uh, three different upscale model and click on install after that you can see the upscale models for example now i'm going to use the 4x ultra sharp Click on this node, release the mouse, and select the image of a scale with model. It needs image as input. Okay, so the image that is going to this node will be four time up scale. But four time is very huge, and I think it's not working for us. So after four time scaling, after that, I want to divide the image with half so again I am adding image scale by connect the image to this node image upscale image by 0 0.5 so this time it's going to resize the image to half and after that, I have to send the image <clears throat> to the latent. But how can I do that? At first, I should send the image to the VAE encode. Connect the VAE from the sampler. And after that, connect the latent to the latent image. It's all. And now, if you press Q, at first, <clears throat> it's going to generate the first image. Okay. This is our first logo. Mm -hmm. It's processing. And after the processing, it's going to load the efficiency loader and upscale the image sending to VAE and <laughs> oh I'm recording video yes it's so nice <laughs> and here is the sampler okay this time it's trying to make the image with 2048 in 2048 and uh after that you can see the final image in high quality <laughs> sophie sophie i'm recording <laughs> okay after some seconds 
we can see the final result. Mm -hmm. Okay, the processing is finished and we have the final image. Let me open that and you can see the final image in 2048 in 2048 and yes, it's all. It's all so you can see that how you can work with SDXL with efficiency loader, how to load the LoRa and how to make the upscale. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support me, you can join me on my Patreon. Here I have many great workflows for you. You can download all the source files. And if you have any question, please ask me in the comments. Hope to see you soon. Bye.